So for those of you who haven't seen this, about a couple of days ago now, I actually made a video talking about all the brand new Fallout TV show images. And in that video, I did actually say, look, as I was saying before, my mum rudely interrupted me, telling me that she left her purse at home. So now she can't get into bingo. I would just like to say in that video, I did say that I didn't think the release date for the trailer would come out for a minute. I genuinely thought that we probably wouldn't see the trailer up until maybe like February, January, just because Bethesda have this really weird tendency to, with some previous games, not release a trailer until like a couple months before the project comes out. Like I think Fallout 76's trailer came out like five months before the game, same with Fallout 4. And you, you really compare that to GTA 6, who are legitimately releasing their trailer a whole two years, it looks like, before the game comes out. But then I was just randomly surprised where Todd Howard and the company who does one day free shippings, occasionally I think, decided to release the new Fallout trailer and I'm gonna be honest I I have seen it I think it's pretty good I mean I was always watching a, a good Mia Malkova video and I even paused that shit because the little YouTube notification came up on the top of my screen and I paused my my um my grinding session and decided to watch it and today I thought let's go over the trailer together ladies and gentlemen we can actually we can have a look at some of the things I, of course, did notice from it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so as you can see, the opening star of the trailer actually shows us Vault 33. And I think what's really interesting about this is the attention to detail that this thing is literally looking the exact same to Fallout 4. Again, you look at a Fallout 4 Vault and it's kind of identical. Some people were saying this isn't 33, but you do see it at the end of, uh, I want to say the, the walkway. Again, next scene is, of course, the main character, Lucy, I believe her name is. Again, she's got in her vault suit. There's a couple other vault dwellers near her. The bloke to her right is rumored to actually be her brother, who is a little bit different to her. Again, some rumors are, of course, saying that He's a bit more shy, timid, and I think a bit more of a worrying kind of guy while she's more of a, I think, volunteer to do whatever expedition this is reportedly going to be outside of the vault. You see a guy also controlling the vault door here, and one thing about this area and scene, it does look very calm until you get to the next scene where you can see she is, of course, walking out, hand over, seeing the sun and of course behind her there seems to be a li little bit more chaos now we got a dude literally dead to the bottom right again he just got off a dick beating session he is absolutely drained you also see one of the vault dwellers looks like um they are running away to i don't know maybe do something and again to the left of this scene we see a vault dweller with his hand over his mouth as the door is closing pretty much saying yeah something clearly happened they were all pretty calm and now they're immediately worrying about what is going on and we do see the vault dwelling out leaving the vault it is clearly the first time these doors look like they have possibly been open considering there's still a lot of crap on the outside we got a dead skull on the bottom right she's now seeing the exact repercussions of what happened with the war. We got Jonathan Nolan, Academy Award winning lad right there. Of course, did the Dark Knight series. He did write that and his brother directed it. We now go to what looks to be Santa Monica where we have the pier and a Ferris wheel just chilling over there. That somehow managed to survive. Also, if we look to the right of this scene, it does look like the army or civilians have put up some barracks and protection. Uh, obviously, defending the west coast of, you know, America would be an extremely important task as that's where a lot of the invaders 
would have, of course, come from, again, we just kind of see the absolute destruction that the war has caused. A rad roach climbing into a building and the main vault dweller walking into this open land where she actually gets the shit scared out of her. You would think she's just seen prime Conor McGregor or something. In fact, I'm not even gonna lie, I don't even know what the fuck these bowl things are called. The shit that you see in like the the old Midwesterns from, <laughs> from back in the day in the 1950s movies. And of course, shit you just see in more desert America area. Again, in Australia, I do not fucking think I would have ever seen one of these, nor you would probably see one here. So I'm gonna be honest here. I don't even know what that's called. And look, hey, if you wanna judge me for not knowing what that's called, I can go through about every Australian ingredient that you probably would have no idea about unless you're Australian. So look, we're pretty even here. Again, she seems to be absolutely scared of that, really just showing that even the, even the little things are getting to her and she's got a massive reality check of what's to come. We've got Academy, or just acclaimed video game creator, Todd Howard, right here, getting a sneaky little mention. The Vault Dweller walking what looks to be the desert of California. This random dude with glasses who's got dog meat in the background, eating a roach. Again, really kind of odd scene here that I'm not even too sure where this is going to take place, but he's basically saying, you haven't seen nothing yet. And then he's saying, you're not ready for what's out there. And then it comes to dog meat eating a rad roach, of course, and she's just absolutely in disbelief. We've got the studio crew of the boys and free two-day shipping, unless you live in Australia, where that shit will probably take three weeks. Again, Amazon, I hope that doesn't lose any further sponsorships that could be in the future with us. It's just the truth that, um, Sometimes shit in Australia takes a long time to deliver. We got the Brotherhood of Steel seem to be at this base. Vertibirds flying away. There are some cabins, pretty much the barracks it looks like. I have no idea where this takes place. This does not look like California to me. In fact, I can't really point to where this would be. There are a mountain range over there, maybe like a Nevada kind of area. I'm, I'm possibly thinking um, I'm really not sure, but again, we see, we see the vertebird flying now over this similar area, and that, to me, these shots right here don't really look like Nevada, so I could be very off. We have another one of the main characters here, a character whose name is actually Maximus, and essentially, he is a scribe in the Brotherhood of Steel, one of the lowest that you can basically be in that faction. He's on a vertebird probably just getting off a mission. You see a Brotherhood of Steel member in a power armor with the widest stance ever, letting his cock dangle between his legs. You can tell that's probably pissed off absolutely every feminist in sight right there. So I'm, I'm very happy by that. So that's obviously pretty cool. And he's just chilling in this vertebrae. We now have dog meat who has literally got a hand in his mouth, which is pretty fucked but you know what if you want to chew on that that's probably better than chewing on a, a dildo or a, a flashlight that's probably had some random dudes cock in it so at least he's picked something a little bit more um suitable i don't know but yeah you just see him chilling there we also see the brotherhood of steel get out of the vertebrates i do believe you can see all the smoke behind them as they are clearing this spot um, there is, of course, five guys here, which is kind of interesting because the Brotherhood of Steel aren't supposed to be super prominent in California law, and there seems to be quite a few Brotherhood of Steel members here. We now do have a jukebox as well, one of the old, old ones that has blood splattered on it. This, to me, if we actually look at the background area here, you look to the right, there's that, um, dildo-looking out silo thing, um... This does not look like California. This does not look like really California at all. This is reminding me more of like the country type stuff in America. Not really reminding me of anything to do with California, but yeah, I'm not sure. So there, it does look like there might be a lot of scenes that take place outside of California. There is still a chance it could be in Cali, but look, there's not a whole lot of places in that state that are like this. 
we now are back in the vault where it does look like a ton of mayhem is going on. This dude right here is bringing out the holy crap. I just looked the fattest shit face I have ever seen. This guy beforehand though, looking very, very shocked as stuff is getting absolutely messy. Some dude got thrown off a bloody balcony right there. We see crops to the right being grown. And yeah, just really weird. Now we see the main vault dweller leaving this little tunnel way, which is kind of an area which I thought was Megaton. This is not actually Megaton. This is in fact Philly. Um, one of the issues I do have with this trailer and show so far, it does look like they're doing a lot of these places to add like nostalgia to Fallout fans again. This is a direct nearly ripoff of Megaton where it's just a scrapyard being piled together. We also see California in the background, or well, LA I should say, I believe it is, looking like absolute shit being completely destroyed. Bottom left there is a place that says supplies as well. Um, and yeah, we do see Walton Goggins now, who is playing the Feral Ghoul, a guy who some people are saying is a bit of a ripoff of Lucas Sims too. Um, which again, I might be making a video on this a little bit later, talking about how some of this seems to be a bit more nostalgia type characters, but I can definitely see that, except now he's just a ghoul. Uh, <laughs> that's that. He's in the same place, as you can see. It does say supply behind him, um, which was the build, the building in the bottom left of the, the vault dweller that we did see. There is a person photobombing him in the background. I don't know who that is. But yeah, another curious thing is Walton Doggins ghoul actually isn't apparently 100% a ghoul. Apparently, in this new Fallout show, we may see a ghoul or two who didn't 100% convert into a ghoul and are still somewhat human-like. How that's going to get explained in this show may be due to radiation, but in real life, it's probably because Walton Doggins just wanted to be a little bit more recognizable. So that's that. Um, but yeah, you can see him walking around. We also do see the main dweller go to this house, it looks like, where she does have her weapon out. Um, this guy looks like he's in his jocks or something. I don't know, he probably just got off a wank and is now seeing some, some chick out the front of his house with a, with a gun. Again, this looks to be still the desert area of California, um, from what it looks to be. We can see an area of his, of his bunda with... Whatever that is on, again, I don't know if he's flashing his penis right now, but he needs to put on some pants, that's pretty bad. And yeah, David Goggins shooting up, shooting up Philly. It looks like Philly's getting absolutely destroyed here. It's not actually Philadelphia, by the way. It stands for Philly, P-H-I-L-L-Y. Don't know why. There is a pharmacy here, bottom left, and a drugs store, it looks like. Some stop signs. Yeah, it's, it's pretty interesting. Um, and he absolutely shoots the fuck out of this chick and her blood just goes absolutely everywhere. My God, that's a, that's a tough sight. We got a dude here as well, literally just it's like chucking his coffee up. And funny thing about him is he only has one eye. Yeah, this guy from vault Tech, who is the overseer, clearly not from the same vault as 33 because I believe the main vault wanderer her dad is the overseer. So this is an overseer, I think, Vault 32, where the rumor has it online is that this vault is actually the experiments on eyes and apparently give people one eye. I, yeah, look, I don't know. He's looking kind of funky. We got a turret here. Please remain calm. Shooting the shit out of what looks to be a scientist and dog meat. We got a Mr. Handy Machine in this random building with a a vault dweller on the car. Is that the main dweller? I'm not too sure. That is reportedly the main dweller's father and apparently the overseer. Will he leave? What will he do? Is that one of the reasons she has gone out of this vault? Not too sure. Maximus getting shot up. The Brotherhood is still getting shot up. The Brotherhood is still getting eaten by a literal Yalgwai. I'm pretty sure they're called. The big ass, big ass bear. But yeah, that guy, that guy has been absolutely fucked up. Like, RIP, my guy. Um, Jesus. But yeah, he's destroyed their main character running away. We got what I thought was like a gulper when I first saw it. Turns out it is not, I am not too sure what animal this is, but it is something new. 
and it has been mutated. Um, so that's not a gulper. It's got some weird penises in its mouth. A vault dweller shooting up the vault. I think that's 32. Could this be a flashback where she didn't want to get the eye taken out, so they stabbed her in the eye? Fuck, I don't know. She's shooting it up. We got the Pridwin here from Fallout 4. Um, apparently not called the Pridwin in this. Don't know why it's here. Doesn't really make sense at all with the Fallout lore, but it's here and I'm keen for it. And David Goggins getting on a horse with some girl. He's got like some cowboy outfit on that looks like a vault suit. Whoa, Los Angeles, California is getting absolutely destroyed. So that's fun. Um, yeah, that's, yeah, that's gone. And then we roll credits to Fallout, um, which is so sexy. I'm not going to lie. I do like this trailer. April 12th. There are still some concerns about it. I do have that I will be making another video on. But yeah, that is the trailer. But yeah, that is the trailer. Definitely don't forget to comment your thoughts and opinions down below, guys. Did you guys like this trailer or did you guys not? And did you like my breakdown, my sexy voice just relaying over? Let me know what your thoughts and opinions are down below. Subscribe to my sports channel and my IRL slash channels. Links for them will be in the description down below. And I guess I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.